Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Loving Little Learners. Today we're going to talk about some tricks to keep your computer organized for easier teaching. If you're anything like me, you have a million tabs open at a time on your computer to the point where you don't even remember where anything is. I actually think most of us are guilty of this since we've started remote learning because there's so much stuff that we have to keep organized and open to access throughout the day as we teach. So I have found three easy tips and tricks to help you stay organized and help your day run smoothly and a little bit more efficient. Let's go ahead and take a look. The first tip that I'm going to share with you guys is how to pin a tab. So normally when you have your browser open, you have a bunch of big tabs like this up on the top. Now this is a good day. Normally I have about 20 plus tabs open and it's really hard to see what you need to because they take up so much room. So what we're going to do is pin the tabs that I need to access most often. So this would be your email, your curriculum, um, your lesson plans, things of that nature that you go to almost every day or multiple times a day. So what you do on the tabs that you need to pin like my mail, for instance, my email, I'm going to right click and go to pin on this drop down list. Once I do that, you'll see my tab shrink so that I'm only viewing the icon here. So now when I'm ready, I would just click on my email icon and it's taking up less room. I can again do this for Etsy. This is something I access every day and you see that it shrinks again for Canva pin and it shrinks. So now when it's time, I can just simply click on the tab that I want to and everything I need to access is already here. This helps you keep things organized and it takes up less room when you pin things to your um, tabs up here. So that is the first trick. Ready for trick number two? So my second trick for you is to organize your Google Chrome tabs into groups. So this is a new feature that Google Chrome has come out with and it is a lifesaver when it comes to sorting and um, compiling all of your different tabs based on um, content area or website, whatever it is that you're working on at a time. So I'm gonna show you how I would go about organizing all of these tabs that I have open to kind of condense my bar up here and make everything a lot more organized. So I have two tabs open that have to do with teachers pay teachers. So what you would do is go to those tabs and right click and go to add tab to new group. So once you click here, it's going to have you name the group that you um, would like. So I'm gonna put teachers by teachers and then color cord it, coordinate it and by choosing green. So now I have this um, teacher pay teacher homepage under this tab. This drive is also connected to teachers pay teachers. So I'm gonna right click and add that tab to my TPT group. Once I do that, you're gonna see this green line kind of go around all of the tabs that are added into this group. Once I'm done adding each of the tabs I would like under this group, I'm going to just click on the group name and it's going to condense everything into one area. Once you do that and you condense, it's going to open up your next tab for you. Um, so let's go ahead and organize the next set of tabs that I have. So the next tab that I'm going to be looking at, they all have to do with ELA. So this is a CBC Word activity. I have Epic. I have my curriculum here. I have reading A through Z. So all of these four tabs here all correlate with e English language arts. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new tab. So right click, add tab to group. This time I want to create a new group and that's going to have me name my tab again. So I'm gonna just say ELA, choose a color. And again, you're going to see that color 
now kind of hug around the tabs that I've added to this specific group. So again, I'm gonna go to the next tab that has to do with ELA, add tab to group, and choose ELA from my drop-down list. Now that orange is going to go under this tab. Again for Epic, ELA, and that orange line is going to continue to reach through all of the tabs that I'm adding. So once I've added all four tabs and I would like to condense it, I'm going to just tap on the word ELA and look, all of my tabs become a lot more organized because they are no longer all spread out, but now condensed into these color corded groups. So again, I'm gonna do the same for my Canva designs. I'm going to name it design. So right click, add tab to group, new group, and let's name this design. Choose a color and add my Canva homepage to this group as well. Once I do that, you see my blue line hug all the way across and I'm going to condense it. So now instead of having the eight tabs I had open, I only have um, five. And if I need to do anything for ELA for the day, I'm just going to simply click on it. And now I can access all of the different tabs that I need for an ELA session. Or I can close it and do the same for any of these other groups or categories that I've created. So the last trick that I want to share with you guys is a trick that I know is specific to MacBook users. There may be a way to do it on PCs um, and Windows computers, but I do not know at, the mo at this time. If you do have a MacBook um, or an Apple device, what you can do is with three fingers, you're going to scroll up and you are going to see this area that says desktops at the top. So if you've never created a desktop, you're going to kind of hover over to the right here where you see this plus sign and add an additional desktop. This basically lets you sort all of your activities into different um, screens, different desktops so that you can stay organized. I like to do this and um, divide up my day. So morning meetings, ELA, math, small groups, and have a desktop dedicated to each of those different um, areas. When I'm working on Teachers Pay Teachers designs, um, I would do the same thing. So if I'm working on content for Easter or for summer, I'm going to have specific desktops open with all of those resources that I need for that specific project. For example, I have a desktop open here for math. Um, so if I click on desktop three, I'm going to see everything I would need to go through and complete a math lesson um, with my students. So I have my manipulatives here. I have my virtual um, math bitmoji room here in this tab. And then on the next tab, I have my school curriculum that I would use to um, teach this lesson. So everything is organized here um, based on content area and everything that I would need to go ahead and teach math or I would use this to teach an ELA lesson. And this is just another option to organize your day and all of your um, browsers and tabs um, in a different format. So let's go through all of the different ways that I've just showed you how to organize your desktop. You can either one, create those pins um, by right click, and pressing pin for those um, websites that you access most often. So this could be your email, your curriculum, um, any type of manipulatives that you use, anything like Facebook, if you're um, just using these things for personal reasons. So you can organize it by pinning. You can also create those groups. So I would right click and add tab to new group. I can create a math group choose a color and then put in all of the different tabs that correlate to math or I can again scroll up with three fingers and create a new desktop based on different content areas 
So these are all of my tips and tricks to help you guys stay organized while you're either in the classroom. This is still a good um, trick to use as you're organizing your day, um, especially if you're using Promethean boards or smart boards and things like that and you're, you are utilizing your computers throughout the day. And this is especially useful when you are teaching remotely because I know while teaching remotely I've had a million tabs open at a time and it's super overwhelming. So this is just a really good way to keep yourself organized, keep the day going and running um, smoothly and efficiently um, so, because you're not wasting your time trying to get, scroll through all of the open tabs that you have and see you know where it, it where your resource is actually located now it's organized it's here it's nice and neat and for me it lowers any type of anxiety that i might um have about teaching um, remotely so it is really a lifesaver to keep yourself organized and keep your day running nice and smooth if you have any other tips and tricks that you would like to share with us, please add that in the comment section below. Um, if you like this video, please press the like button and that subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed to Loving Little Learners. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next video.